Hi bestie, I'm so happy that you're here and I really hope this video can help you and that you're going to have the most amazing, wonderful day. So let's start off really strong with Sayana. I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but anyway, <laughs> this app is truly amazing. You have little daily check-ins and a really cool option is that you can choose to do it in this version with little buttons and stuff. Or you can have a voice activated one. So Sayana is basically talking to you and it really helps if you're feeling alone. Um, I really do recommend it and it has really well sort out questions. Like sometimes I feel like questions in this sort of apps are just a bit random and they don't really take in consideration your situation. While Sayana is perfect. <laughs> It's literally the best motivational app out there. I mean, I know I'm talking about quite a few in this video, but this one is probably my favorite. I am going to be saying that by every about every app, but this one's just really original. Its graphics are really fun and colorful and pretty, and yeah, I really like this one. I think this is a 5 out of 5 on oh my account. It also has really good exercises. For example, this one with the ball, which is just so cool i don't know how to explain it it really makes you feel so much better about yourself about your surroundings and everything so yeah i took like an account this exercise but there are so many great amazing ones so yeah <laughs> can you tell how much i love this app <laughs> i literally i can't stop saying how much i love it but except that why don't you try it out for yourself and comment down below how you find yourself with it um, it'd be really handy for like people that are just watching this video to see different opinions on it. So yeah, other than that, to the next application. Confident app, like the name says, <laughs> literally talks about how to build your confidence and how to improve your confidence. Make it stronger, make it more powerful, like it should be bestie because you are amazing. And I really hope that you acknowledge that. It's, I know it's really hard, but believe me, you can do it. You are amazing. You are talented. You can do it. And this one just really makes you be like, yes, I can. This is what this app makes me feel. Um, and I really like, for example, here you have to like be five minutes in front of a mirror. And it's just, I love it. I love it. I love it. This other feel powerful thing hasn't come out yet, so I was just pressing it for no reason. And then, yes, I am a naturally confident person. I am. Say that to yourself. So, you're probably asking yourself why the hell this portion of the video is um, like this. The reason is so simple. Very simple. I lost the footage, meaning that I deleted it off my camera roll. Even if you could clearly see it belong to this video. But we're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. We're going to pretend there's that pretty little white background. And we're just going to go ahead with it. Okay, bestie? Okay? Back to the motivational part of this video. Ellen Mind is truly simple. Gets the point across. Like, I have to get to that point in this app. Will get me to that point. The simplicity makes it more simple i don't know how to express myself with this it just makes it just easier to deal with if that makes sense and again here the questions are very well centered on your problem you are not going to be you know going around the concept and being like well i feel that way this is not really the question i needed in this moment in this particular um circumstance so this one is amazing. The only thing which makes me sort of rate it down in respect of Sayaya Bujibarara, whatever, the one I talked about before, is the fact that quite a few things you have to pay for. Which I'm not really in the mood for that. You know what I mean? I, I want a free good app. But a lot of the a lot of the functions are free, so I do still recommend it. So, self-care is probably the first motivational self-care application I discovered. Um, back, 
probably like three or four years ago, two, three, four years ago, and that is a very big range of time. And the cool thing about this one is that it's sort of um, going undercover. Like, it's meant to be a bit of a game that you do. So you're in this room, there's a lot of objects in this room that you can click, and they both do different things. If you press on the flower, it has a breathing exercise. Um, and there's just different little things like that that you just really makes you feel relaxed. I wouldn't know if I prefer this one or the ball of before. Comment down below when you guys prefer. Um, it's just so original. I really like this one. Truly, it's, it, it, it doesn't feel like I'm doing, like, self-therapy or something, but it is really therapeutic. Um, it just has these, like, little things It just, they make you feel good about yourself. I don't know, um, it's just fun. You pick up your little card, you put it on your little shelf. It's just really well organized. You have different exercises, different games, you know, different games to, um, help you relax, to help you take care of yourself. It's a very, you know, relaxed ambiance in the, in the back and... It just, it's just great. Um, this app is the one that really got me into self-care apps and trying to discover more. I had a little journal. It just, it's amazing. I honestly wouldn't know what I would even add to this. I actually forgot to do the rating for the other ones. I would have to write it in. Um, but I would definitely give this one a 10 out of 10. It's organized. It's simple but not simple. Um, it's truly really such an interesting concept for an application, for an app. And I love that about this one. This one's so original and that really makes me like it uh, more than the other ones almost. I feel like the top would be this one and Sayana, the first one I showed. Um, just, you know, I'm not in the mood to be one of those like youtubers are gonna save the best for last so you have to stay longer in a video because that's not the point about these videos the point about this video about these videos is helping people and that's what i'm trying i'm trying to help you with your with your um with how you see yourself and how you on how you feel about certain things and all these apps can really help so i really do encourage you to start looking into some of these um and they might really do a difference in your routine because they don't occupy much time and they're certainly cheaper than a therapist. Now, I'm not saying to not go to a therapist because they're amazing. I don't know where I'd be without my one, but certainly look into these apps. So Breeze is sort of an alternative to Allen Mind, depending on what kind of style you prefer, but you know, the point of the app is the same. I mean, it is the same with all of them, okay? I tried my best to try and find the best ones. <laughs> um, it just depends on what kind of style makes you feel more relaxed. I personally would probably go with the Allen Mind, but I do like this one very much. And I know that a lot of people would probably prefer this one. Um, rightfully, you know, depending on your kind of style. So try them out both and then tell me. When I discovered this app, I felt so cool. I felt like the cool girl in school, you know? I felt really dope. Um, <laughs> um, it's so cool. The aesthetic, mwah, amazing. 10, 100 out of 100, 10 out of 10, I don't know. Um, so cool. Um, I feel like the concept isn't too... Okay, so why did I decide to put this app in this video? Well... I feel like all that kind of stuff is kind of, you know, deep into your heart and it makes you, you know what I mean? Makes you discover stuff about yourself and things, you know, how to love yourself, how to open your heart is a chapter of this one. And I really like this one. It's so cool. Love it. Let me just off, start off by saying um, this is not a motivational app. It's a lost app, but it's not a motivational app. It's like a drawing app, you know what I mean? But I feel like it's a really good one to be free. And 
you can use it to like write good things about yourself you know write positive thoughts about yourself to yourself little letters also um sometimes when you don't have pen or paper it's just nice to just write little things about yourself when you when you just feel a little bit down just remind yourself you are amazing remember that girl you are also other than apps there are other amazing ways to feel positive uh, youtube is a great source too i like dr julie she's amazing there's really well structured shorts they just get the message right through bye bye besties have a great 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 week month year bye